I just wanted to give up and quit. And I asked God, like, why did you let me live through this? Why didn't you just let me die? Oh, uh, instead of putting me through all this torture. Welcome back. Today is doctor appointment number two with the surgeon. Um, I've had a pretty rough last several days. Just been struggling with my anxiety and uh, depression issues because I don't really see the light at the end of the tunnel or it's hard to see one. So hopefully this doctor appointment will bring me some good news, maybe cheer me up a little bit, and I'll get into more of why I've been struggling here in just a little bit. So let's get in the car, let's get up to Greenville and see what this surgeon has to say. We have arrived at the doctor's office. Something I probably hadn't mentioned yet, I don't think I did. But it's been seven weeks, I think like 50 days since I had my accident. So I'm up and walking now, uh, not normally, because I got some nerve damage in my hips and pelvic area and down my left leg and foot. So I walk with a limp, a pretty heavy limp, and it makes it hard for me to walk a little bit, but it's slowly getting better. So it may never come back, but hopefully it will, but it might take a few months before it gets there, so who knows. But wish me luck. Hopefully the doctor will give me some good news and tell me my back is on its way to be infused because I want to be on the shorter end of the spectrum as far as healing because this is getting old. Well, it's the next day. Uh, got finished from my doctor's appointment, which went really well. I got some good news. I'll get to that in just a second. But what I wanted to address is what I talked about at the beginning of the video, which is I've just been going through hell mentally uh, the last, I don't know, five or six days, maybe more. And I just asked myself, I just wanted to give up and quit. And I asked God, like, why did you let me live through this? Why didn't you just let me die? Uh, instead of putting me through all this torture on a mental level, worrying about money, a bike, a job, everything I've been worried about, not helping my wife enough. Uh, why couldn't I just die? And I was just in a real bad place mentally, I'm telling you. It's, I know that's probably hard for some people to understand and some people's gonna get it, but it was rough. And uh, I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to die, to be honest with you. Uh, not from physical pain. That's just cause I have a hard time wiping my ass cause I can't bend or twist. It is what it is. Um, can't reach stuff off the bottom shelf of the cabinets. I can't reach stuff in the refrigerator unless it's right there in the front for me. I can't get to it. Uh, I can't get out and clean my yard up. Can't clean my gutters out. I can't put Christmas lights on the house. There was so much stuff and still so much stuff I can't do. I walk with a limp, which that's getting better because I'm walking more now, about a half mile a day. Um, but yeah, I just it was in a real bad place mentally. Um, I didn't really want to talk about that really, but it's just how it is sometimes. I would never harm myself physically, like kill myself or nothing like that. So don't get that twisted. But I did pray often over the last few days of God, why didn't you just let me die? But I can say with good news from the surgeon yesterday, um, it brought me brought my spirits up a lot. Cause he told me everything was healing well, nothing has shifted. All my hardware and everything looks fine in there. And you can see, I didn't, I didn't have a picture of the um x-ray but you can see a little bit where it's starting to turn like a clear white in there like you can see on the x-ray of the bones there was a big black gap where all my stuff was now it's like you can tell something's forming there he said i can do pretty much whatever i want i can't ride or nothing right now but i can do anything as long as i don't bend over or twist my back so i can drive a car now which i drove for the first time today that felt awesome after seven weeks just being a little more independent because I'm a 43 year old man. I uh, love my wife to death, but just tired of people having to do everything for me. I want to get back to doing stuff for myself. That's the way I am. But I can squat now. I can lift as much weights as I weight in my arms as I want, as long as I can squat, keep my back straight to pick it up. So, um, but he said too, another good thing that bones usually confuse in about four months. So I'm almost two months in now. So that maybe it'll be fused by sometime in February, which will be awesome because I really need to get back. Once it fuses, he said I can go jump out of an airplane if I want to. So 
that was good news to me because I need to get back to doing stuff around my house for my wife and being the husband and father I should be. And I need to uh, get a job and I need to get back riding, camping, all that good stuff. I'm not done. I'm coming back riding. He said I could do it. I don't see why I couldn't. I'm usually a pretty good healer. Just have to get my strength back. But once my back's fused, he said I'll actually be stronger than any other part of my back, which I sort of assumed that anyway. But so that was good news. Brought my spirits up. So I'm feeling more like uh, the original bearded grump. All happy and pumped now a little bit. Hope that I'll keep soaring up. Take me out of my funk. Keep me out of my funk. And we're going to start hammering the shit out of this YouTube again. I got some content I need to make with some products I got with a stove. We got Rick Stewart from uh, SC Moto Lawyer uh, sponsoring a few videos. So that's awesome. So welcome Rick Stewart and thank you for that. We got a fire maple stove I need to do a review on. I got another uh, one Tigris wall mount thing. I don't think I really have to do a review, but I got to check that thing out. Timmy wants to do some cooking videos. Got to do some modifications to his bike. And my bike's probably going to get sold, so we'll see what happens with that. But I'm pretty happy now. I know y'all probably didn't watch all this. Nobody ever does. But if you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Always appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate all the support. If you hadn't already, hammer the shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell and follow along with us. Because we ain't done. It's only up from here. We about to start hammering the shit out of it. Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all in the next one. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of sad, but been going back and forth with it. But the old Vistrom is about to go to its new home. The guy's on his way to buy it now. Goodbye, old buddy. <laughs>